welcome to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're gonna to be talking about perspective. We get to experiment now with the idea of teaching perspective. And uh, this really came to me um, having a conversation with um, I get to have conversations with our apprentices all over the country and the world when they do a video send-in of them teaching their clients and we get on the phone and we have a phone chat uh, about what we're seeing, what they're doing well and what we want them to work on. And it can be a very powerful experience, not only just the conversation about talking about teaching, but being able to watch you teaching from a, a, a really far distant perspective. Uh, when people send in their, their video send-ins, I'm like this little voyeur that gets to sit into the corner of the room and see if the cues are landing, how the whole body of the client is adjusting to all the gorgeous cues that um, are being instructed by the apprentices. I also really highly recommend that Everyone videotapes themselves uh, a few times teaching with a client that is signed a release, of course, so that you can see what it's like to be uh, a few steps back from your client and see what you pick up because it's very different than when you're close in and zoomed in on the client. And we all do this. You know, we have a client that comes in with an, you know, a tight IT band or SI joint issues. A lot of times we hyper focus on that area, but then forget to zoom out and see how the whole of the body is digesting the work that we're doing. The beauty of the Pilates work that we do in the studio is we go from micro to macro and back again. We're constantly detailing small, subtle adjustments, but not without forgetting that the whole body has to share in that response. So we're gonna play a little bit with zooming in and zooming out in something simple like footwork so that we can see maybe how powerful it is to Step, take a step back from our clients, move around our clients on the reformer while we're teaching them so that we can maybe find these other key pieces that are holding up what we're trying to cue and change. So I'm gonna lay down on the reformer. I'm gonna just do some footwork. And so what I want you to do is really Think about if you were standing, how, you tip, how we all typically do on the side of the reformer, you really only get a visual field from about here to here. Because Pilates is so rooted in this idea of movement coming from the pelvis, we really like to cue a lot of neutral pelvis and neutral spine. It's a great place to start. So as you're really focusing in from here to here, you can see if the pelvis is a little bit off, if one hip is higher than the other, if your client likes to tuck in the pelvis. But let's say that the pelvis finds a fairly easy neutral and you're over-focusing here. Now, if you take some steps back and start to zoom out, you might see that Maybe the heart center is having a hard time rooting down. Or maybe they get from here to here, right, and their shoulders are tensing up into the shoulder rest. Or, as we see a lot of times, they find their mid-back anchor, the back of the sacrum, but then their head and jaw is really up in the air and they're shortening their cervical spine in the back. The other area that gets highly missed when we overfocus or we stand too close to our clients is what's happening down in the feet. You will see lots and lots of interesting habits in the feet and toes, which really is a large indication of tensions that are shared throughout the body, but you would never really have an opportunity to cue and change it because maybe you're standing here and facing this way. So again, just using yourself to zoom in and zoom out, give a cue to your client that's powerful, 
walk away, look from afar, it can really help to demystify how uh, a client is organizing and moving um, in semi-gravity, we'll call it, in the supine position. It's very, very important to do that little bit of zoom in, a little bit of zoom out, and also do record you teaching your clients. You'd be surprised with the words that you say, the things that are repetitive in your work, what your body mechanics look like when you're teaching, which is really important to keeping yourself healthy. And now with iPads and um, phones that have video, it's getting easier and easier to do that uh, so that you can really start to experiment with different ways you can become a more holistic teacher and really meticulous in your cueing so that your clients can progress faster, learn how to embody better, and also uh, take care of yourself in that process. That's all for today. And if you have any observations or questions that you'd like to see answered on an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or a forum. See you next time and never stop learning.